everybody. Uh, <clears throat> September's finished, so I wanted to show it to you. And a couple other things I did on vacation. My last uh, flip through was my vacation flip through. And it's October 1st today, and I just finished September. Actually, all I did was do the, I did writing from Monday through su Saturday. And then I just waited till today to decorate because I just didn't have time. But this lovely fat journal was made for me by my dear friend Mona in Germany. And, and it had tons of extra pages, which I really liked because I wanted to add extra from vacation. And then I wanted to, I was doing a September favorites challenge. Um, somebody put up that they got an Instagram, but they put it in the travel f Traveler's Notebooks f notebooks Forum Facebook group. And so I did that. So I'm just going to do a quick flip. This little thing here is just where I put my information and a little <clears throat> embellishment here. If you're lucky enough to be different, never change. This was volume 11. And this was from some stamps I got by this... Uh, they were based on Andrew Wythe's uh, artwork, and it's funny because I used, I used it. Uh, one of the pictures I found, I had I actually had the picture, and I used it in one of my other journals that I'm going to show you a little what I did on vacation in. So uh, I just did this uh, September favorites challenge. This one was colored. This was the whole challenge. So all I had to do was just flip back every day, see what it was, and do it. And I just wrote, because uh, we went camping, it was Labor Day weekend, so we were camping. So I have a camping notebook, and uh, that's where I do my main camping decorating. But then I just go ahead and do a little bit in here. So I had this whole saga about camping. This is camping, um, you know, four days over Labor Day. So I talked about camping extensively, all these things. I... So I kind of twice journal when I go on a trip or camp. I journal the trip or the camping in a separate insert, but I also do a little bit um, in here. And you'll see I have the favorites thing throughout. And I'm just going to flip through slowly. I'm not going to explain everything, obviously, but it's still camping. And I save labels and packaging and use them because I love to. This was a favorite, myth Mythical Creatures, your uh, September favorite challenge, and I picked the unicorn. And let's see. Oh, yeah, back to work here. This was just from, I got some really nice hiking sandals, the Keen brand, if you've ever heard of them. I wore them almost my entire time on vacation. absolutely loved them. Um... Some more things from the challenge that that's mixed in every day and so I just added stuff um, Sadie started kindergarten so I put some facts about that or I'm gonna put a picture here when I get her a picture I think of her from her kindergarten class and um, as you see just more of the favorites challenge um, I showed some of this on separate um, journaling videos. Actually, most of this is going to be on journaling videos before vacation because um, I did journal a lot of this already online so you could see it there. So I'm just going to do a flip and not explain a whole lot. These are some leaves we found. I found and put them in here. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I already did all this. So I'm just going to kind of flip through and show it to you. Here's another, um, Camping, nope, nope, I was shopping, and these were the, some of the washies and things I got. Watch La La Land. This, uh, oh, my favorite word, Grace, and then some other favorite favorite movies. Um, decided to go to River Valley Church, so we did go that, uh, that Sunday before for the first time and decided we would go there. Um, yeah, so just a happy mail and then some thoughts. Then, um, oh yeah, favorite place, the North Shore of Lake Superior. 
some pants I bought. It's like I journaled all of this so you can actually see the journaling process if you look back on my videos from before vacation, which was September 16th. And then, let's see, that this is still pre-vacation. So is that, and then vacation. So this I haven't, no, the rest of the book, the last half of September, nobody has seen. So um, we were on vacation for nine days and then we got back, we've been back a week now, so. We went to Door County and Bayfield, Apostle Islands area. So Door County was the first half of vacation. And I did all this in my, my vacation flip through. My other insert, that's just vacation. So you'll see that there too. And I just did a lot of decorating and fun stuff. I, I really had fun in this journal. Um, so many more pages than I'm used to having and I just loved it. Um, so these are all vacation things we did on vacation. So I put um, <clears throat> a lot of repeat information, uh, extensive journaling about what we did. Still continuing the favorites challenge. Um, this was a campground and just some things from the day, camping, more things that we did. I got brochures at the tour spot so I could um, do some actual things um, more of course and then let's see kind of the more favorites and just things from you know camping um, I think this is a day I just collaged here and then we had breakfast and then we left for Bayfield the Apostle Islands area there's a leaf I put in plastic um, so we talked about our new campsite, which is very beautiful. Both of our campsites were up to the woods, like the back. We looked into woods, and nobody camped on either side of us, which was so nice. Favorite memory, of course, was the birth of my little Sadie bug five and a half years ago. Um, just some more things that we did, camping and packaging, and my favorite things about fall. And then we had one rainy day, so I talked about that. And we went on a ferry across to the uh, Madeline Island, actually. And we did a tour, a three-hour tour of all the other islands by boat. So talked about that. Um, lighthouses, of course, were all over. Talked about that. Uh, favorite foods, so I just put a whole bunch on there. Um, just kind of like we had a lovely time. There's Saturday spent the night in a hotel on Saturday night so we went to walk to you know where we were in Bayfield so I put this in and just the different some more decorating and talked on the way home we went around the Wisconsin Lake Scenic Byway and stopped to see friends and then here's Monday back to work and I really I just had a lot of extra pages so I used these calendar pages someone had given me and I used Allie Brown's printouts. They're all over. You're going to see them everywhere. Allie Brown, Allie Brown, calendar pages. <laughs> um, same here. Calendar pages, Allie Brown. This was a red letter day, Tuesday. Sadie lost her first tooth. And so I did this. Um, this was already in here with this cute little mermaid. But it was a really perfect um, to talk about it for this day where she lost her first tooth. And here, just decorating. Talk about the day, but then just decorating. Same here. Favorite fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast, of course. Um, talked about Wednesday. And favorite beverage, coffee. Um, just some more decorating. Uh, guilty pleasures, Twizzlers, and sea, caramel, sea salt caramel, almonds, chocolate, Cheetos, the usual. Um, I just we just had packaging left. This was from vacate. We'd gotten some of these on vacation, and so I just grabbed the packaging and stuck it in there. Lunch with my daughter uh, nearby my work. So that's all this. My favorite book is the Bible. Um, this also was a pack just packaging to fill up some pages. Um, National Coffee Day was Friday, so I put that in there. 
And then uh, Friday night we baked cookies and cut them out so, and decorated them. Sadie and I did that. Because she stayed the night I picked her up and she stayed Friday night. Um, so I did that. And just some more talking about stuff. Took Sadie to the park. Went to Arby's. Um, then just some... I had extra pages, so I just put that in there. And a quote about books. This is my sister's shop, Sonoran Treasures, and she makes these necklaces, and she sent me one. And I posted about that on Facebook. Allie Brown, printable there. Then we saw friends last night, uh, good friends uh, visiting from Houston. Their house had gotten flooded like about a foot. So they're in temporary housing right now. Fortunately for the company he works for, they put him up in a, a good place. Um, so just we had we went out to eat to Teresa's Mexican restaurant and afterwards we came back to the apartment of her their daughter and son-in-law and visited with all of them and had some wine. Um, so that's this. Just I just filling pages. That's kind of what I'm doing here and just ending right here. So yeah, I'm so happy with this journal and it's just stuffed and I absolutely loved it. I'm just going to show you real quick some things I did on vacation. Um, I didn't work in this one, but I did work in this. This is just for journaling whatever, thoughts journal. And I had done journaling previously. I've shown this many times. But I worked on this page. This is a big question mark. So I talked about questions and choices and stuff. That's what I journaled about here. And then this one, I had listened, heard a song on the radio by Lauren Daigle called El Lord. And I absolutely loved it. So I wrote the song down and um, used one of the napkins from Jane Davenport. Somebody had sent me her collage papers. Someone had sent them to me which is such a blessing and so I just used that and I started here but I'd never uh, finished writing so that'll come then I <clears throat> went to this one and I've got two journals in here that my dear friend Pramita from India may has made me and I worked in this watercolor one she did a lot of the watercoloring in here like she did these flowers so I went in and just took, um, kind of just talked about, journaled about some things, per personal things, but still good, you know, I don't care if somebody, you know, reads this or not, but I found this pretty picture and the butterfly and it just seemed to go well. This is something I had done before. And then I watercolored, she did these, I watercolored this and, um, just used two different color watercolors and wrote in pink. So you really can't read it, only I can read it. And pasted this picture in. And then I started here, I pasted this picture in. Permita did this, but then I didn't write anything. But I, you know, I made a start and that's um, part of that. I have a, a journal with Tomoe River paper, a B6, that I just did. Uh, watercolor on and stuff and put a few tiny things I pasted in and I did write in that too but I didn't bring that out to show. This is one of my faith notebooks and this is my spiritual journal and so in this one I did two things. Uh, go guide. <laughs> Told God, I was telling God that I wanted an official guide to help me make important decisions in my life and so I wrote some verses out about uh, the Lord guiding step by step and everything so that's what I did that the bridge deciding what to do all that sort of thing and then on this one this is that remember I showed you that picture of the stamps this was one of his drawings and paintings and I talked here just about oh I wrote my favorite psalm Psalm 121 I just love it I really I love it it says I look up to the mountains does my help come from there my help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. He will not let you stumble and fall. The one who watches over you will not sleep. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never tires and never sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not hurt you by day nor the moon by night. 
The Lord keeps you from all evil and preserves your life. Watch over, or the Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forevermore. And then I wrote, um, I think I wrote on here, look at the lilies and how they grow. God cares so much, cares so wonderfully for flowers and how they grow. Won't he more surely care for you? So yeah, just some scripture verses I wrote down, and yeah, that's all I did in this one too. So yeah, those are the things that I worked on um, on vacation. So I worked on a lot of stuff, and I'm really happy that I did. Now I'm getting ready to do, it's already October 1st, and I'm not ready. So I gathered together cutouts and things I want to use for decorating, magazines, all kinds of stuff. And I have this insert from Beth Solar Shop, Scrapping Wonders, and I'm, it's a Tamoe River. And I'm going to, this is what I decided to do, is use this for the journaling part. And I'm going to do watercolor in here and fall colors. And then I'm going to take this one, R, and it's from R.Atley or something, this uh, insert of hers. And I'm going to do the decorating I'll say the date, but I'm going to do the decorating here, and the writing will be back in this one, because this isn't going to be enough. So I thought I would glue these two together, and then I'm going to make uh, a cover from... I was originally going to make a cover from this, but now I think I'm going to do my cover with this. But I am going to do, like, foxes and the color blue and some, you know those kind of touches and then this burlap this ribbon type thing is going to be the tie around my journal but before you know I do that I have to get my decorating done and I'm already behind on decorating so <laughs> we'll see and I thought I was gonna do a whole bunch more journals today but it took me two out like two hours to catch up on this so and we're watching a movie or two tonight so I probably will just have to find another time and I will uh, I'm gonna try and get a little decorating done so I can at least write about October in here so we'll see <laughs> but thank you so much for watching you guys know I appreciate it I appreciate all of you bye